Okay, so uh, a lot of people are asking me how I record in uh, my um, Dazzle Virtual Dub settings and whatnot, so I think it's about time I made a tutorial about that, so let's go with that. Uh, just gonna minimize that. Okay, so starting off, I'm gonna assume that you have your Dazzle hooked up and everything, and all the plugs are in the right settings, and you have everything like you wanted, and the only thing left to do now is capture. So, uh, I use this program called, um, no, I use this program called Virtual Dub, and it's free, it's highly versatile, it works for everything, and it's pretty much better, I think, than any standard issue capturing software. Like, for example, if you use Pinnacle Studio, you should probably stop doing that because it sucks. So, let's go over and first of all get Virtual Dub. So, Virtual Dub. There it is, virtualdub.org. Got one point. Oh, when was this made? Oh, hey. I thought. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to check this out. I didn't know they updated it. That's cool. All right, so. Okay, what was it? All right, so let's go over here. Downloads. Um. Virtual dub. It's whatever. Uh, here's some other versions. Pick one that you want. So, I've got a special version of Virtual Dub that I'm going to be using in this tutorial that I can upload and you guys can do that. So, moving on, let's go into our programs here. Locate Virtual Dub. I've got two here. Let's see. Here's, I'll explain that later. Um, so, let's start open Virtual Dub see we got this nice blank interface like it's so confusing because we don't know what to do but it's not so you went to file uh, actually hold on let me turn on the Wii first Alright, so we have our Wii in place. We're going to go to File, Capture AVI, and we got Picture. Amazing, right? So, uh, how we set this up is uh, I guess if you haven't configured it before, you go into a Video, or no, you go into Device. You got Dazzle DVC 100 Direct Show. Uh, if you're low on money and you need a capture card, I guess you can get a Dazzle. There's something like Easy Cap for ten dollars, but I think that's really, really pushing it. I got this Dazzle in like 2008 for fifty dollars, but now it's probably worth about twenty. So may as well get a Dazzle. But like I said, this works for anything. And also, if you go into Audio, you can see I've got Dazzle DVC 100 Audio Device. That's where this program, or that's where this version kicks in. Um, this one was specifically made to uh, capture Dazzle DVC audio because there are some versions of Virtual Dub that have issues with that. So, yeah. All right. So then we're going to go into the next setting, which is uh, compression. As you can see, I have this. Uh, I've got a number of codecs here that I have installed. There's a DivX codec and this XVID codec, which I haven't tested yet. I need to, I guess I'll see how that works. I'll use that. Uh, audio, compression, I capture in RAW PCM because it just, it works and I can fiddle around with it later. So let's launch a game. GC booter. Yeah, there it is. Got GameCube disk in. Got it, got it, got it. It's opening.
This is normal. This is perfectly normal, by the way. All right, sweet. Now, also, if you've noticed, you can, where is it? You can turn on a preview so you can see what you're capturing or not, whichever gives you more RAM and performance space. Well, let me turn this down. Yeah, so you probably heard that. And I can, as you can see, I have the audio playback selected. Now, here's what you guys seem to be struggling with. As you can see, there's some scan lines going around. It looks like it's threaded, like in and out. So uh, let's capture some raw footage here and buff that out. So. Yeah. All right, let's pick Oh Fox and then Nope, not that one. The preview is a little bit laggy because USB 2.0 is really slow for capturing, but for this tutorial it's all we have to work with. So uh we're playing around and stuff. And uh let's start the capture now. So we still into a uh, file. So you capture file, let's put it on the desktop, name it Smash T Interlace the Okay. So we save it. But that doesn't actually start the capture or anything, that just sets the file. So what we need to go is to uh is uh where is it? Um Oh here it is. Capture and capture video. Press this. And you can see here it says a uh, capture in progress. What? Did it stop? What? Hold on. Whoops. All right, so. Let's exit that. <sighs> I guess it's the Xode codec. All right, close that. Okay, so as I'm sure you just saw, Virtual Dub just crashed, so I reopened everything and did the exact same things, except I'm gonna change it to this DivX codec. I'll show you my settings real quick. I use this 1080p. I've got a really nice computer, so I use this 1080p profile. 6,000 kilobits per second, one pass, multi-pass. I, I don't know. I don't honestly. I don't know what a lot of that means. We've got speed over compression. Experimental stuff, video, blah blah blah. Okay, so we got that down. As you can see, it's going to set the capture file. Don't. Crash. Sweet. Then capture video. Capture in progress. It's pretty laggy because, well, whatever. So let's get some action going on. I can't see what I'm doing at all. I'm going to try up something. It's really laggy. All right, that's enough. Stop the capture. So, apparently, it could be. all right, whatever. Exit capture mode. So now we've got our blank virtual dub video. We've got don't crash. Dot avi. So, I'm, hopefully, you can see this. There's some scan lines going on. Also, the audio is really messed up. Yeah, but that's not important. So, drag this AVI in a virtual dub. And over here we've got our pan bar that lets us pan through the video. So let's drag this along until I can find a good example. Okay, right here. See that? That's ugly. It looks terrible. So what we can do about that is we can go into video, add a filter, deinterlace this this right here will fix this ugliness just click that um, 
you can, there's a number of options here. I'm going to try blending it and uh, keep the top field. I'll try how that works. Press OK. Press OK again. See that? It looks a lot smoother. It's blurred, but it's better than having this ugly sharpness going on on the screen. And if you wanted, you could... Um, let me go back in time here real quick. Go into filters. Delete that. Add another deinterlace. Go blend field and double the frame rate. So you've got, whoa, holy crap, 60 frames per second. Now, how this works is that normally your capture card caps at approximately. Also, you can see the difference here again. So, how this normally works is uh, your capture card captures at about 29 frames per second, deinterlaces it. So, what you can it's really capturing at like 59 frames per second and it weaves them together at 30 frames per second so it looks like everything's happening but in reality it just looks really really ugly so this is what we can do to fix it by deinterlacing by because there's two pictures on top of each other and they're like knitted together that's about the best description I can give so but 60 frames per second isn't really that useful if you're uploading to YouTube because it's got like a 29 frames per second limit so you're just adding on to your unnecessary files or space, whatever. All right, so delete it. Go back, add the interlace. I'm going to blend them. You can mess with these as much as you want, whatever. All right, sweet. So everything's smooth along. And then as for audio, click full processing mode. Go into compression. Let's use lame MP3 320 whatever. That one works. It's got like really nice quality, but the audio is messed up from capturing because I was recording at the same time. So it doesn't really matter, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm showing you how to do this. And then compression for video. I'm gonna use this codec, which is X264 video for Windows. I'll show you where you can get that. Let's go into Google real quick. X264. Yeah, window codec. Uh, oh, hey, it's my video. Cool. What the? How long has this been here? Ugh. All right, never mind. It's on SourceForge. Let's just Google. Oh, did I have the number wrong? That was stupid. X264. Um, Source Forge. This is the one you want. I guess I'll put a link in the description. This codec right here is amazing. Many anime subgroups use it, but they use like a different interface to get it in 10 bit video, but. That's unnecessary. So what you're going to is files. Uh, there's a 64-bit version. This is a 32-bit version. I'm going to use 32-bit version, I guess, because it's it works. So you can download the latest one you want. I think I have this one right here. And uh, yeah, click that, install it, restart your computer, and you've got your codec. So go back in here. These are my settings, about 800. Change this to a bitrate based from whatever it was before. Make it about 800. I put the output mode of video for Windows, 4CC, capital H, 264, the virtual dub hack. I don't really know what that does, but I guess it helps. So, sweet. Awesome. We have all our video settings. And uh, let's say there's a little bit of stuff that I don't really want here, like this second while I'm pausing. So click this little left indent here and that makes a selection. So then let's scroll along and go over here to about 25 frames, press it again. And uh, this is the selection we have that we can just go into and just 
save it as an API, but I'm gonna get rid of it instead of just um, capturing away from it. So go to about right here, press this again. We got this little blue area selected. Press the delete key on your keyboard, and they're gone. So now you got a really smooth video. And then to finally export your video, you can go to save as AVA, save as AVI, and uh, let's name it. Don't crash. Okay, fixed. Press save. If you want your video to go faster in rendering, see how fast this is because I've got a really nice computer. So I didn't get a chance to, but you can uncheck show video in in and out and then move the priority to high. And let's see what we got here. Uh I can't tell if my capture program is doing this, but I'm pretty sure that you can see that the scan lines are gone. And then you can just, because I'm recording, it looks really bad, but you can just upload like that to YouTube, and it looks a lot better than just having it raw. So that's my virtual dub tutorial. Go out, capture some video, and uh, don't get hit.